Hi guys, it is Friday, um, a little after five o'clock and I'm coming to you from my car. I just parked outside of my apartment so I could update you on the second part of my big update. Um, sorry for making you wait so long. So if you didn't watch my last vlog, or maybe it was two vlogs ago now, um, I had posted that I am not returning to my current school next year. <laughs> them a few months back I just decided that I wanted to move schools um, and so I applied to some other schools and I have a few, few friends who work at a school that's near my house um, that they really enjoy working at and I saw that they had a um, kindergarten first grade like lower elementary special day class position and that was something I was very interested in um, I don't know what specifically like why I started getting really passionate about it. I did student teach in a first through sixth grade special day class last year and I absolutely loved it. Um, but I still decided, you know, this year obviously I wanted to teach general education and I don't know if it was just because I was getting so kind of burnt out and exhausted in my job. Um, but I remember just one weekend I was like texting my friend and I was like, I think I want to teach special ed next year and specifically in a special day class because that's what I student taught at and because I enjoy still having my own class in my classroom. And a lot of schools don't have special day classes, which is probably good. You know, like my current school right now is an inclusion school. Um, but I saw that this specific school did have an SDC class. It was lower elementary. It was a school my friends teach at and it's close to my house. So I was like, oh my gosh, like this would be perfect. So I applied and ended up getting an interview and a demo lesson. And then they called me that same day and offered me the job. So Hi guys, I have an update. I'm home now from my interview and my demo lesson and it went so well um it was a little overwhelming there were 10 people in my interview and then 10 people who came to watch my demo lesson but honestly i think it went really good i made them laugh in my interview they i got a lot of <laughs> nods and smiles um and it was really nice because they gave me the questions um that they were asking during the interview so like they all had the questions in front of them and then i got the questions as well and so that was really nice because i got to like look down at them and um you know if i needed to reread the question or whatever i could so that was really helpful and then after i did my, my demo lesson in the class all seven kids were there they were so cute oh my god so small and it honestly like thinking about it it could not have gone better it went really really well um the standard that we were talking about was counting numbers and matching numbers from one to 10 and then comparing groups of objects. And so I brought my mini erasers and I gave them like turtles. They were turtle erasers. And I was like, okay, how many do you have? And we would count them. And I said, okay, how many does she have? Who has more, who has less? And then I had these little fish task cards um, where I'd ask them what the number is and then to count the fish and then we'd match those. And then I had a worksheet where they got to color in watermelon and they were all engaged. I was able to get two of the kids who didn't come over at first or no, three of them to come over at least for a little bit. And afterwards when I was leaving, the TA was like, can you come back on Monday? She was like, you're amazing. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. And then the administrator was like, yeah, she is. And then when we walked out, the, the administrator looked at me and she was like, you're wonderful. And just hearing her say that like made my whole day because um, it just, it feels good to be like acknowledged and to get a compliment and to feel like, you know, like you're a good teacher. And so that felt really good. And then she was like, are you sure you can't start like now? And then she was like, so the goal is like, you'll finish out your year and then come work for us in the fall. Um, I was like, yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that means that I got the job. I still have to like think about a lot of things, but I don't know. I really, I like the school. I loved the administration. They just seem so supportive. And at my current school, I just like don't have that. Not that they're like, yeah, I don't know. I just really appreciate people who make you feel valued, who respect you, who make you feel like good about yourself. And that's what I got from that interview. I also have three of my friends from my credential program that work there. It's a really nice school. It's another charter school. It's a good school. It's a huge school. So I don't know. I have a lot to think about, but they said I'd hear back within a week. So hopefully I hear back soon. 
But whenever I hear back, I'm not gonna worry about it. I did it, I showed up, I tried my best. I think it went well. And I just wanted to document that. So I will see you later. I just got a call from the principal. It's a little after four and I got the job. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. He was like, he asked about my current job. He was like, is there any way that you can start this year? I was like, no. Um, but yeah, he was like, I want to offer you a position. I want to offer you to come work for us next year. And oh, I'm just so excited. He was like, the team had so many amazing things to say about you. They loved you. And um, he was like, it's rare these days to find an amazing special day class teacher. So ah, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Wow. Going from fourth grade to TK through third grade SDC. So different, but honestly, I'm so excited. I mean, I didn't technically accept it. I told him I was very interested and um, like I have to talk to my current school. I told them that I was interviewing, um, but I'm so happy and I'm so excited. And yeah, oh my gosh, I got a job. I got a new job for next year. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. So this is my official announcement to you guys that next year I will be a TKK1 special day class teacher. And I am just, I am so excited, you guys. I've been making so many resources and classroom decor for next year. And I am just over the moon. Um, right now, I think I have about like four to five kids enrolled in my class. And I can have at most, I think, around 10. So it'll be really nice. Um, obviously, it's very challenging. But it will certainly be nice to have a smaller class size. I just feel like, you know, 26 kids right now. It's so many kids. And I'm excited to have... Um, smaller class size and just really be able to work with each student more and I'm just really looking forward to it. So stay tuned for my journey from Gen Ed to SPED. Stay tuned. I am so excited to bring you along and I'm going to try to vlog way more next year. Hopefully I'll be more successful with that. Um, I'm going to try to go into my classroom this summer and start setting up lots of classroom prep vlogs. So if you want to see it, stay tuned and I will see you all soon. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.